Welcome to Tips for Success in the Second Language Classroom. I recently spoke to a teacher who said, my principal is concerned about the fact that the card system is an extrinsic motivator, and she prefers that the students have an intrinsic motivation to learn language. Well, of course, this is unquestionably our primary goal. As language teachers, we want to ensure that students rapidly acquire the language so that they do develop an intrinsic love of the language and appreciation for the culture. My inspiration for developing AIM was based on the fact that my students didn't like learning French, and I believe that this was at least in part because after many years, they could not speak, read, nor write in the language. Before they develop proficiency, however, students cannot imagine nor feel intrinsic value in speaking this other language. I love Sylvia Duckworth's sketch note based on the ideas by Barbara Bray and Kathleen McClaskey. I feel that it illustrates well the progression toward intrinsic motivation. As much as we want to help students rapidly acquire language, we also want students to move rapidly through the continuum to intrinsic motivation. One of the AIM tools that helps to scaffold and move through this continuum is our card system. Not only does it ensure accountability and raise awareness of target language only, but it actually also offers a deeper linguistic purpose as well. We begin each lesson with the commitment that we're going to use the target language only. Whether you use the simple entry routine, open your head, take out English, put English in your pocket, or whether you use the entry routine wrap, or whether you simply gesture, for example in French, on parle seulement en français aujourd'hui. It's a commitment that sets up the atmosphere for the target language only used throughout the class that day. So bookending this commitment that starts at the beginning of class with the end of class acknowledgement that we have used the target language only in the classroom happens really effectively with the card system. Two minutes before the end of class, you ask the students whether they spoke only in French or Spanish or Mandarin, etc. today, and if they did, they acknowledge that they did and say, in the target language only, of course, I spoke only in French or Spanish or Mandarin today, and they take a card. There is also a linguistic purpose to this leaving routine that scaffolds to higher levels of expression. At first, students may simply say, for example, in a French class, J'ai parlé seulement en français aujourd'hui. Then they might add, Alors, est-ce que je peux avoir une carte, s'il te plaît? Or they could say, Est-ce que je peux avoir une carte, s'il te plaît, parce que j'ai parlé seulement en français aujourd'hui? Or they could say, Je veux une carte, parce que j'ai parlé seulement en français aujourd'hui. Or, J'ai besoin d'une carte, parce que j'ai parlé seulement en français aujourd'hui. Or, Est-ce que tu peux me donner une carte, s'il te plaît, parce que j'ai parlé seulement en français aujourd'hui? These are key phrases that students now have the opportunity to practice every day. So using the card system each day as a way to reflect upon and acknowledge that they've used the target language is a big step for students who are just beginning their language journey. We talk a lot about the importance of student self-assessment and self-reflection, assessment as learning, and this is truly key in developing metacognition or awareness of one's own learning, and is essential, I believe, for the development of an intrinsic motivation as well, and also is a great tool to maintain the target language only. Secondly, the card system gives us the opportunity to thank the students for the great effort they're putting toward trying to express themselves in a foreign language, which we all know is not easy for a beginning language speaker. Each day we hand a card to each student individually and can formally thank that student for putting forth this wonderful effort to use the target language only. Praise is such a huge component of the AIM and this is just one other formalized way for us to recognize the students for their great effort. Thirdly, when it comes time to count the cards, we want students to have the opportunity, yet again, to reflect on their use of the target language only. And this time it's over a longer period of time, say 15 to 20 lessons. When students use the target language only, we know that this is a significant indicator of their eventual ability to develop higher levels of proficiency. On the day when students count the cards, they practice sociolinguistic functions as well, 
and also high frequency expressions in the target language, such as when a student is handing out a card to a student, he or she says, where is, name the student on the card, the other student says, I am here, and that student hands the card and says, here is your card, the other student says, thank you, and the student who is handing says, you're welcome. And this happens over and over and over again as the cards are being handed out. This system also provides you with a lot of information regarding student participation in class. And if you wish, you can use this as part of your assessment toolkit. Of course, not all teachers want to assess participation, but what participation typically tells us is that if students are participating, and that's using target language only in this case, well, they're going to be speaking in the target language most likely better than others who don't. I feel that some teachers and administrators who don't know AIM very well look at the strategies and techniques used in the methodology, such as the CARD system, and see only the surface. It is important to also understand the deeper purpose behind it as well. Because using the target language only in a language classroom is one of the key indicators of an effective language classroom, we look to whatever we can to support us. AIM offers a variety of supports, and the CART system is just one of many strategies and systems in place to help you. Not only can some types of extrinsic motivation help to accelerate student proficiency, they may also offer some specific linguistic opportunities as well. I always know when my students move from extrinsic to an intrinsic appreciation of French the very first time they catch me using English and react in the following way, saying something like, Madame Maxwell, qu'est-ce que tu fais? Tu dois parler seulement en français. When that happens, I know I've achieved my goal of target language only and intrinsic motivation.